Well, everyone, congratulations on making Final Four. So close to the end. Yeah, it's crazy to think how uh, the game's going to be over in, like, two days. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a wild ride. At Tribal Council, I took a risk in voting Seth off. But at the end of the day, his immunity challenge ability was just scary, so... I'm hoping it was the right call. If Rick ends up winning immunity, then I guess I made the wrong decision. If not, then he's going to go home, and I'll be sitting in the final three. There's four people left. I think everyone's got the same idea of Rick going. Um, but if Rick wins immunity, then Sydney and I will just have to vote Morgan and hope for the best. I don't think Rick will win immunity, but if he does, that'll just mess up everything. Right now, I'm cautiously optimistic about my chances. If Rick goes home next, I think I've got a decent shot against the girls in the end, just because I have allies on the jury and they don't. But if Rick ends up winning immunity, then all that goes out the window, because I think he probably beats any of us. And if he wins, then I'm probably going into fire making at best and getting unanimously voted off at worst. So I kind of need to win this challenge. Everything's riding on this final immunity challenge. If I can win, I get to the end. If I lose, I'm going home. There's no in-between. I need to bring my A-game to this challenge and just knock it out of the park. Welcome, survivors, to your final immunity challenge. This is how it's going to work. Each of you will have to balance on this very thin platform. If you fall off, you are out. Last one standing wins immunity and a spot at the final tribal council, where they'll be able to plead their case to the jury. A lot riding on this. All right, everyone's in position. This challenge is on. Just moments into this challenge, Jasmine falls flat on her face. She is not going to win immunity. And Morgan also slips off. This challenge quickly claiming two competitors. Sydney and Rick. The last two up. One of them's winning immunity. The other has a shot of going home. Both of you are doing great. We are five minutes into this difficult challenge. Both have been looking strong. It all comes down to this. And Rick falls. Sydney wins final immunity and a spot at the final tribal council. Congratulations, Sydney, on winning immunity. Guaranteed a spot at the final tribal council where you will be able to plead your case to the jury. As for the rest of you, after 38 days, one of you will be voted off and become the final member of that jury. Won't be you. All right, got nothing else for you guys. Grab your stuff, head on out. I'll see you tonight. I may have lost that challenge, but I'm not going to give up. There's still hope for me, and I'm going to keep fighting until my torch is snuffed. Great job in that challenge, Sydney. Thank you. Yep, now it's time to send Rick home. Agreed. Rick put up a good fight, but at the end of the day, he lost immunity, and now he should be the one going home. I don't see why Jasmine or I should get votes over him, so it's looking like uh, it's going to be an all-girl final three. Hey, Sydney. Hey, Rick. Listen, I know I might be the target, but can you hear me out on this one? Uh, sure. What do you want uh, me to do? Well, I want you to think about what's best for your game, and I think I'd be voting Morgan off over me. How come? Well, I think Morgan, her game hasn't been great, but she's made zero enemies. If you look at the people at the jury, there's lots of people who'd probably vote for her to win over me, like Toby or Jack. I don't think Max would really consider voting for you. Um, Seth said as much. So... I think it's in your best interest to vote her off because she's got way better jury connections than I do, and even you do. Hmm. I'll think about it, Rick. I'll think about it. Rick honestly makes good points about why I should consider voting Morgan out. I mean, she doesn't have enemies on the jury, but her game isn't great. Like, I can't think of one thing Morgan's done. However, I know the jury might not like me very much, so is it wise to take someone to the end who's played a pretty good game, but might not be well-liked? Or is it smarter to take someone who's well-liked, but hasn't really done much of anything? It's something to think about, at least. Welcome, survivors, to Tribal Council. 
Now introducing the members of the jury. Brooke, Max, Toby, Rebecca, Jack, and Seth voted off of the last tribal council. So final four. Sydney, you're in the final three. How does it feel knowing you've got immunity? Well, Jeff, it's nice to win back to back. It's even better to know I'm going to the end. Now I just have to think about who I should bring. Hmm. Rick, at the last tribal council, it was stated that the vote was between you and Seth and whoever didn't go should go next round. Do you feel like you're gonna be going home tonight? Well, Jeff, I know I'm a target, but I've given reasons why I should be taken to the end, and I hope that something goes my way tonight. Hmm. Well, it is time to vote. Morgan, you can start us off. You've played a great game, but tonight's your night to go. You're really my only option tonight. I'm hoping this works. I've tallied the votes. Hidden immunity idols are void at this time and cannot be played. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted off will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll now read the votes. First vote. Rick. Second vote. Morgan. That's one vote Rick, one vote Morgan, two votes left. Rick. That's two votes for Rick, one vote Morgan, one vote left. The final vote. The 13th person voted off and the 7th and final member of the jury. Rick. Rick, that's three votes. That's enough for tonight. I'll need you to bring me your torch. Rick, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. And with that, you three, Morgan, Sydney, and Jasmine, are the final three of the season. You guys got one more night out here in Madagascar. Make it count. All right, grab your things. Head on back to camp. I'll see you tomorrow for the final Tribal Council. Well, I'm disappointed to go, but I'm proud of the game I played. I think I did pretty well, and well, it sucks to go out now, but I'm proud of what I've done, and, you know, I would do it all over again if I had the chance. Day 39. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, one last day here. Wow. With Rick being voted off, it means I'm the last member of original Volana still in the game. That's an accomplishment in itself, so I'm happy about that, and, uh... Yeah, going to the end, and maybe I can pull a couple votes. Who's to say? I know my game hasn't been the most flashy, but at its core, Survivor is a social game. And I do believe my social game has been a lot better than Sydney and Jasmine's have. And I'm just hoping that my allies on the jury will come through for me tonight. My game has had its fair share of ups and downs, but I've managed to get to the end. And I do believe I've played a much better game than Morgan and Jasmine have. So I'm just hoping the jury can see that and, uh, well, hoping I can win this thing. Welcome, survivors, to your final tribal council. Now bringing in the members of the jury. Brooke, Max, Toby, Rebecca, Jack, Seth, and Rick. Voted off at the last tribal council. So finalists. The three of you have made it as far as you can in this game. The power now shifts to the jury. These seven players that you've had a hand in voting out will now have a hand in voting for one of you to win the title of Soul Survivor and the Million Dollar Prize. One at a time, the jury members will come up and address the three of you. And then they'll vote for a winner. Brooke, since you're the first jury member, you have the floor first. Okay, finalists, I've got a question for each of you. Um, it's kind of basic, but I feel like it's necessary to ask. So I'm going to ask each of you, what was your biggest move in this game? Jasmine, uh, you can answer that first. Okay, uh, biggest move I made was probably using my extra vote advantage to take you out at the final 10. Um, at that point in the game, the merge had just happened, and Sydney and I were on the bottom. So we had to do whatever we could to stay in, and um, she played her idol, I played my extra vote, and we were able to flip the script onto you, and if I didn't play my extra vote, I would have gone home. So I'd say that was probably my biggest move. 
All right, how about you, Sydney? My biggest move in the game was probably the Jack vote. Rick was trying to make a big move by blindsiding Seth, but I used that information to tell Seth he was in danger, so he'd play his idol. And then I was able to, with Jasmine's help, get rid of Jack, who was someone who had a lot of good relationships with the jury and was in a position where he could have easily won. So I think that was my biggest move. All right, thank you. How about you, Morgan? Well, I'd say my biggest move is the Malcolm vote. In the pre-merge, um, the plan was to vote off Sydney, but I was worried that she might have had an idol. So I convinced Toby, who was sleeping through the round, that the vote was being changed on to Malcolm. And a tribal council and idol did come up, and the votes tied between Gordon and Malcolm. And then I used that opportunity to get rid of Malcolm on the revote and keep all my allies safe. So I'd say that was my biggest move. All right, thanks, guys. Max, you're next to go. Okay, so right now my vote's torn between two people. Um, so my question is going to be to Sydney. We never really interacted, so I don't really know you. And my question to you is, why should I consider voting for you to win? Well, Max, I think you should consider voting for me to win be because I played the best game of the three of us sitting here. I was able to find an idol and use it correctly. I was able to work my way out of the bottom to that position of power. I was able to essentially run the game towards the end. So I feel like I've just done more than the other two have, and I deserve your vote and the votes of most of the jury. All right, thank you. Toby, you're next to go. Okay, so for the three of you, I'm not really sure what to ask. So my question is going to be, um, out of the people on the jury, who do you think was your biggest competition or who played the best game type of thing. So Morgan, you can answer that first if you want. Yeah, um, I think of the people in the jury, Rick played the best game because he was able to make it really far. He had a lot of control and he was able to go under the radar for pretty much all of the game. So I'd say Rick was probably uh, the best player on the jury, but there's a couple others who come close. Okay, uh, how about you, Sydney? For me, I'm going to have to say Jack was probably the biggest threat on the jury because he had lots of jury respect and he was pretty good in challenges. And I feel like if he got to the end, he'd probably beat anyone. All right. How about you, Jasmine? Uh, phew, that's a tough one. Honestly, I'm going to also say Rick because I feel like his game was just better than the other people's. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Rebecca, you're the next to go. Um, hmm. All right, right now my question is to one person. It's you, Sydney. I think you played a good game, but I honestly don't want to vote for you. So my question is, why did you choose to vote me off a of final seven? I, I didn't vote you a final seven. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't vote you. Rick and Seth flipped that vote. Oh. Huh. I don't really have a follow-up question, so uh, I'm just going to sit down, I guess. Jack, it's your turn to ask the finalists a question. Okay, final three. Um, I'm not sure what to say, really. My vote's kind of up in the air, but kind of not. So my question's going to be to Morgan, and depending on your answer, it's going to depend if I vote for you or not. So my question is, what have you done that's really impressive in this game? Okay, so in terms of impressiveness, I feel like my best thing I've done in this game was just my adaptability and my social game. At the start of the game, I was able to be in a majority alliance and essentially have control. But when the swap happened, I was essentially on the bottom of a new tribe, but I was able to work myself into a position where I was in the majority alliance once again, and I carried over to the merge. But once... um. Max got voted off, we were on the bottom, and I was able to just continue playing the game and use my social skills and just my unthreatening nature to survive each round. So I feel like I was able to make it to the end. Sure, I haven't had these huge moves, but that's only half the game, right? I feel like my social game was better than Sydney and Jasmine's, and that's ultimately why I should win. All right, thank you. Seth is next. All right, so final three, um, Jasmine, Sydney, 
You know what I said when you voted me off? If you took me to Final Four, I would have considered voting for you, but you lost my jury vote. Simple as that. Morgan, as for you, I'm going to be voting for you. Um, I honestly don't think your game's been great. And if you do end up winning, I don't think it's well-deserved, but that's where my vote's going just for the sake of consistency and sticking by my word. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have a question. Rick, you can close this off. Okay, so I don't have a question for you finalists. I'm just going to say congratulations on making it this far. I do have something to say, though, mostly to the jury, and that's Sydney's played one hell of a game. You can't deny that. She was able to make huge moves and take control of this game and really dominate. And I feel like we'll be doing a disservice to this awesome season by not voting for her to win because she's just played a phenomenal game. That's where my vote's going. I hope all of you on the jury consider it at least because I feel like she's just done way more than the other two have. So yeah, that's all I got to say. And uh, yeah. All right, thanks, Rick. And with that, it is time to vote. Brooke, as the first jury member, you can vote first. This is honestly a tough decision. I see merit to both their games, but I think this is the right choice. We were allies since day one. Good luck, Morgan. I hope you win this game. You outplayed everyone, so Sydney, you deserve this. Good luck. I've tallied the votes. Remember, these are votes for our winner, so you want to see your name on these parchments. For one final time, I will read the votes. First vote. Morgan. Second vote. Sydney. That's one vote Morgan, one vote Sydney. Five votes left. Morgan. That's two votes Morgan, one vote Sydney. Sydney. We're tied. Two votes Morgan, two votes Sydney, three votes left. The fifth vote. Morgan. That's three votes for Morgan, two votes for Sydney. The sixth vote. And the winner of Lego Survivor Season 9, Madagascar, is Morgan. Congratulations. Well, I'm kind of in shock. I thought the vote would be close. I did believe I had allies on the jury who'd write my name down. But I honestly didn't expect to beat Sydney. I don't really care how I got votes, whether it was from the jury being bitter or people actually thinking I deserve to win. I don't really care. At the end of the day, I still won, so... You know, maybe my game wasn't great, but it was a winner's game nonetheless. Congratulations to Morgan, and congratulations to you for sticking around to the end. Season 9's now in the books. That's uh, kind of crazy. And that means Season 10's the next one up. Will it happen? Yeah, I kind of feel obliged to get to double digits at this point. Um, the intro's done. It'll be out soon. As for the episode's... I'm not sure when they'll get up, honestly. I feel like they'll probably be a bit delayed. I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a lot more uh, effort put into them, I guess. I'm not too sure. I think season 10 is going to be interesting. It's got some fun twists. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. And uh, until next time, there's been nothing to see here except the finale of season 9. And I'll see you all very soon.